Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn something super cool about numbers. It's called number bonds. A number bond shows us how two smaller numbers can come together to make a bigger number. It's like a team. When the two numbers work together, they make a whole. Or it could be like a puzzle. You take your smaller pieces, put them together to get the larger one. Let's look at an example. If we have three apples and our friend gives us two more, how many apples do you have all together? That's right, five. So we can say the number bond for five is three and two because three plus two equals five. We could also draw it like this. See, we have the whole number five at the top and the parts that make up five, three and two, are at the bottom. But guess what? A number doesn't have just one number bond. It can have many. If we look at the number five again, it can be made up in lots of different ways. Let's get some blocks and I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five. So here we have five blocks, which is our whole number. We could have five and zero, and that still equals the number five. So that would be one number bond for five. We could also have one, two, three, four, five, like with the apples. So three and two would make a number bond for five. Or we could have one, two, three, four, five. Four and one would make a number bond for five. So five has how many number bonds? Let's see. Zero and five. 1 and 4, and 2 and 3. The number 5 has three number bonds. All of these pairs are number bonds for 5. They're different parts that come together to make the same whole number. Every number has its own set of number bonds. Learning them will help you see how numbers are connected, and that will make math easier and more fun. Let's do some more examples. This time we'll do the number eight. What are two numbers that added together make the number eight? Let's get some blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have eight blocks. So one number bond for eight would be eight and zero. Great job. Can you think of another number bond for eight? Having our blocks to use can make it easier because we can take one and move it over here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one makes eight. So seven and one would be a number bond for eight. And we could keep using our blocks to help us. So if we move another one, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one, two, seven, eight. So six and two. Now what two numbers would make number eight? That's right, five and three. And then our last number bond for eight would be four and four. 
So we would have zero and eight, one and seven, two and six, three and five, and four and four. Because if we kept moving our blocks, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three and five. But we already have that number bond when we did five and three. So eight has one, two, three, four, five number bonds. Let's do one more. This time we'll do number two. And let's get our blocks. One and two. So how many ways can we make the number two? We have one, two, and zero. So we have two and zero, and we have one and one. So the number two only has two number bonds, zero and two, and one and one. So remember, the whole number is the big number, the parts are the smaller numbers that make up the whole. And together, those three numbers make up a number bond. Keep practicing. Soon you'll see number bonds everywhere, and they'll help make adding and subtracting so much easier. Bye-bye!